Okay. Uh, this is four one one. Okay, so first math, let's look at the first math. Okay, so first math, uh, a three gigahertz microwave signal is a uh, signal source is connected to a lossless transmission line of length 40 centimeter. Compute the phase change at length five centimeter from the source at what distance from the source, this phase change will be 180 degree. So doing this, uh, you need to draw the uh, draw the transmission line. Okay, you need to draw the transmission line. So for that reason, let's draw it. Uh, Okay. okay, so a three gigahertz micro signal source is connected to a lossless transfer line of length force at 40 centimeters. So, so let's draw it. So here it says that uh, it is three gigahertz. The input frequency is three gigahertz. Uh, lossless transmission line of length 40 centimeters. So this length is 40 centimeters. This length is 40 centimeters. We compute the phase change at length five centimeters from the source. So from the source, uh, from the source they say that uh, at the five centimeter from the source, let's say here, uh, which is the five centimeter long, at this distance, what would be the phase change from the source? Five centimeter from the source. At what distance from the source, this phase change will be 180 degree. And somewhere here, it is 180 degree. So we need to know that position where it is. Okay, so that is the uh, thing and uh, this is the um, load. So two things we have to find out, phase change. We have to find out the phase change first. <clears throat> where the phase changes, where the phase changes, phase change. So, <clears throat> so we need to discuss about it. Okay. So first of all, to phase change, that means beta. We, need, we know beta is equal to two pi by lambda. Two pi by lambda, beta is equal to two pi by lambda. So we need to find, so we need to find out the lambda. What is the lambda? Lambda is equal to F lambda or lambda equal to b by f b by f so we know the f so what would be the v v is actually speed c which is speed of light so we need to know the speed of light so here given that so just put the values let's say v is 3 into 10 to the power 
टेन सेंटीमीटर पर सेकेंड सेंटीमीटर पर सेकेंड डिवाइडेड बाई एफ एफ मीन द फ्रीक्वेंसी फ्रीक्वेंसी इज इक्वल टू विच इज गिवन थ्री गियर हर्स थ्री इंटू टेन टू दिपॉन नाइन हर्स सर देन डू द कैलकुलेशन देन यू विल गेट दिस रिजल्ट एस टेन सेंटीमीटर और था दैट मीन्स द लैम्डा द वेवलिंग इज टेन सेंटीमीटर नाउ इफ यू पुट द लैम्डा हियर टू पाई टू पाई बाय टेन टू पाई बाय टेन इनटू एल द फेस चेंज इस इसलिए बीटा एल एल इस फाइव सेंटीमीटर हियर एल इस फाइव सेंटीमीटर बिकॉज़ इट इस द रिक्वायर्ड वैल्यू इनटू फाइव दैट मींस It is pi. Phase change should be pi. Uh, that means one eighty degree. See, phase change is one eighty degree. Again, phase change. We know that two pi by lambda into L is equal to phase change. So, if we change it, uh, change the values. What do we get? Lambda by two. That means. Five centimeter. So at the five centimeter, this phase changes. Okay. So that is the math. First math. I will explain all of the maths. Inshallah. You understand it? Check this again. The last last line of the question, sir. Yeah, last uh, line. This line. Uh, at what distance from the source? Question, sir. Oh, uh, at what distance from the source this phase change will be one degree? Okay, so see, at the five centimeter distance, you have found that this is one eighty degree, right? At the five centimeter distance. So you can say that at the five centimeter distance it would be one eighty degree. But what would happen? I am changing the question. Let's say two seventy degree. So if if I ask you at what distance from the source the phase change will be two seventy degree. So then what you will say? Then you have to calculate. Let's solve this out. Say two seventy degrees is given, so we need the what? We had what distance? We need the distance. That means the length. So we know that two pi by lambda into l is equal to two seventy according to the question. So at what distance from the source so is phase change? So we know the phase change is equal to See here, phase change beta into L. So beta is equal to two pi by lambda. L means L. So now put. Now we need to what? We need to find out the value of L. L. This is the length. So let's solve it. L is equal to two uh, seventy into lambda. Lambda means ten centimeter, right? Lambda is find out. We we found out lambda is ten centimeter divided by two into one eighty. That means pi means one eighty degree. So divide it nine three times nine two times, and this is two five. That means fifteen divided by two, or seven point five centimeter. So 
So if I change the angle, that, that means a phase change, then I can calculate the math. I can solve it by like this. Now check again. You understand? Yes, sir. I get it. Okay. So it's not very difficult. It's easy. And just you need to know that uh, this is the phase change. Phase change. Okay. That is the phase change. Total phase change. And beta is what? Beta is phase constant. There are some students are waiting. Some students waiting. Let me check. Yes, sir. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh, some waiting. Okay. Okay, now I accept all. They will see. Okay, now it, it is clear to you, I think. Right. Now. Okay. Sir, okay. Please. Yes, yes, please. The lossless transmission line means a waveguard or metallic tube. Yeah, lossless means it is ideal, ideal case. There is no loss. Everything perfect. Okay, that is the lossless. And it is, since we are talking about the micro transmission line, that means it is a waveguide. Okay, that means something which is hollow inside. That is the micro transmission line yes, okay. sir, yes. hollow something hollow yes, yes. it could be a waveguide a rectangular waveguide or maybe the circular waveguide it depends on the situation okay so i think you understand this problem right yes sir. we can move on we can proceed right in the next okay so next question Uh, a pitch of ideal to micro transmission line of characteristic impedance 50 ohm, C, 50 ohm, is termed with the load impedance of this value, C, ideal, ideal transmission line is given. So calculate reflection coefficient, transmission coefficient, VSW and return loss. They have said that. Now, Let's see how to solve it. So first of all, you need to draw the figure. We are drawing it. Okay, so here they say that 50 ohm. That means this line impedance, which is Z naught is equal to 50 ohm. And here it is the ZL load impedance 100 plus J of 50 ohm. Okay. 
okay so that is the value is given z naught and zl are zl are given so we need to find the reflection coefficient that means the rho rho either rho neither capital gamma okay transmission coefficient that is the tau this w there that is the s return log this, that is the rl okay we need to find out these values so first of all what let's write what things are given these things are given which is z dot z l so reflection coefficient so reflection coefficient is uh, z l minus z naught divided by z l plus z naught this is that is the formula which we have learned earlier so that is the reflection coefficient equation now put the values of z l and z naught inside this uh, in this formula so what is the value of z l value of z l is given which is 100 plus j 50 ohm and the value of z naught is 50 so here z l plus z naught so put the value and this is in the rectangular form this is in the rectangular form that is rectangular form that is rectangular form that is polar form okay so you use the calculator to convert these values okay so i think you will and uh, you can do it can you convert the polar to rectangular rectangular to polar in the calculator so like this uh, uh, get the values now what would happen uh, this value say this is the magnitude and this is the angle that is the magnitude that is the magnitude this is the angle okay, so if it is the differential coefficient of the rho value of rho then transmission coefficient value formula is there put the values of the character symbol as well as the load impedance then you'll get the values 1.41 angle of 8.13 degree that's it and what is the first wr one plus rho divided by one minus rho so you got okay so in the vswr when you use this symbol so you are taking the absolute value right you are taking the magnitude you are taking the magnitude only which is 0 0.447 okay and so just put the values then you'll get the vsw which is 2.62 vsw 2.62 okay so return loss what is the value of the return loss the formula is 20 log 10 absolute value of rho so here again what is the absolute value absolute value is nothing but the this nothing but this value which is 0 0.447 that is the magnitude of the uh, reflection coefficient right that is the magnitude of, uh, magnitude of the reflection coefficient which is 0 0.447 and angle is 27 degree okay so as a result you you will get the return loss value which is minus 6.99 db db means the decibel okay so check this math by yourself then inform me any question if is there any question sir was vswr vswr okay that is called the voltage standing wave ratio 
that is vo uh, voltage standing standing wave ratio okay that is voltage standing wave ratio that means in this kind of line a wave is go to the load and another wave is coming from the load to the source so who that the wave which is going to the load towards load we are indicating it as a v plus and the wave which is coming from the load to the source we are indicating uh, this as v minus okay here uh, if we combine if we combine these two wave then we'll get the third wave which is a which is could which would be like look like this if we combine these two wave if we combine v plus and v minus then we will get another wave which is this kind of which is this kind of wave and the name of this kind of wave is the standing wave that is the standing wave that is the standing wave that is the standing wave so the ratio of the the voltage standing wave ratio here you know the v the minimum the minimum and maximum two values are there maximum amplitude is known as the v max and the minimum amplitude known as the v min maximum amplitude known as the v max minimum amplitude is known as the v min so the ratio of these two is known as the v max by v min v max by v min is equal to s this is actually called the vswr or voltage standing wave ratio this is the voltage standing wave ratio here a rho is the reflection coefficient which is v minus by v plus ratio of the reflected wave to the incident wave is known as the reflection coefficient okay just memorize it this this point the ratio of incident uh, in incident wave to the uh, the ratio of reflected wave to the incident wave is known as the VSW or voltage standing wave ratio and it represents by rho this value is the rho or or capital gamma we can represent the uh, uh, voltage, uh, the reflection coefficient as the rho or the capital gamma and uh, the and the voltage standing wave ratio can be represented by s where the formula is v max by v min but if we modify it then we we'll get the one plus uh, magnitude uh, absolute value of rho divided by one minus absolute value of rho here the absolute value means we are taking the the magnitude of the reflection coefficient we're taking the magnitude of the reflection coefficient here okay so if uh, if we put the values on the uh, formulas then we'll get the result now you clear vswr yes sir okay. so it is actually a standing wave the ratio of the maximum amplitude to the minimum amplitude of a standing wave is known as the vswr okay you can say like this okay so let's move on to the next one mm, number 3 a 50 ohm lossless transmission line of length 5 cm armature with a short circuit termination. See here, the, they say that it is a short circuit termination. That means the ZL is equal to 0. The line is fed with a 3 GHz sinusoidal signal and relative permittivity of the dielectric material of the transmission line is 2.2. That means epsilon R, which is 2.2. And the input impedance of the line also find the magnitude of the reflection coefficient VSW and the return loss of the short red line. See, 
a fibrium lossless transmission line of length 5 cm is terminated with a short circuit termination. The line is fed with a 3 gear sinusoidal signal and relative permittivity of the directory material of the transmission line is 2.2. Find the input width. Okay. So here, uh, the let's draw the signal and let's uh, talk about the main thing. Um, as before, as I said before, this time again, we draw the signal. Okay. Now see, Z, this is the Z dot, which is 50 ohm, like again. Uh, that is F, which is 3 giga. And another value is given here. Oh, so the line, 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 length. Length is 5 centimeter. And epsilon R, it is new thing, 2.2. The value of epsilon R that means the the material which is uh, which is inside the waveguide. Okay, the di the dielectric material, the value of that material, the uh, the value of the epsilon R inside that material is 2.2. It is actually a ratio. Uh, I think you know that uh, permittivity, relative permittivity. That is the relative permittivity. Okay, again, one thing that is short, that means we do not have the load. We have the short circuit here. So this would be look like this. Just I am rubbing this. So that is a short circuit. So that is a short circuit. So we do not have the load. So according to the ideal case, uh, all wave will come in from here. Okay, so so given Z naught is 50 ohm, F is three years, L is five centimeter, epsilon R is 2.2, these values are given. So if the circuit is short circuit, then ZL would be zero. See, if it is short circuit, then if the circuit is short circuit, then ZL will be zero. And Z I input impedance equation would be Z Z dot 10 beta L. Z Z dot 10 beta L. It would be the input admittance equation. Uh, equation. So V is equal to C by square root of epsilon R uh, is equal to 3 into 10. C, this is the formula of V, velocity. V means the velocity. Uh, C by a square root of epsilon R. C here. Uh, if it is in the air medium, for air medium, this value of epsilon r is equal to one. For the air medium, the value of the epsilon r is one. So C by square root of epsilon r is equal to, that is the value for this uh, equation. Uh, so we need to modify it, uh, centimeter per second, right? So that is, centimeter per second. Ah. Okay, where are we? So just see, it is a short circuit terminal. Uh, so the input impedance would be ZZ not 10 beta, that, that is the formula. Uh, so the put the values here, find out the V, then the lambda, lambda is equal to V by A. Uh, put the values, then you'll get the value of lambda. Then the, the, put the values of lambda inside the BL, beta. Beta means the phase change. Okay, the change of phase. That is that would uh, that would come in the angle, degrees. So two pi by lambda into L. L means five centimeter. Two means two, and pi means one eighty degree. So just do the calculation, then you will get it. Two. 266.98 degree. That is the value of beta L. That means the phase change. Now you put the value, values of uh, Z naught as well as the beta L into the Z I equation. So for the short circuit termination, we know that Z is equal to Z Z naught 10 beta L. 
z is equal to z z dot tan beta l and the reflection coefficient rho is equal to z as minus z not divided by z plus n just uh, you can get it and the vsw are value see here rho comes as one so put the values of rho here infinity and the uh, return loss zero degree that means there is no loss since it is ideal case and uh, it is uh, short circuit okay now in the next math in the next math what they do they did uh, almost similar thing instead there is a value of load there is a load which is 25 plus j of 75 ohm here uh, almost same same question like the previous three one you draw the signal that means that you draw the transmission line diagram you draw the transmission line diagram then then do some maths do some equations Let's see, given Z dot, okay, here let's uh, uh, read the questions. A pitch of micro transmission line of length 5 centimeter and of uh, 50 ohm characteristic impedance has terminating load impedance of 25, uh, 25 plus J of 75 ohm at its end and is fed with a severe sensitive signal source at its input. The dielectric constant of the material is 1.8. What is the value if? the input impedance of the source plane. <laughs> what is the magnitude and angle of reflection coefficient at the load end? What is the value of VSW at this point? What are the values of maximum and minimum impedance? Okay. Mm -hmm. So the difference is that the previous one the difference is that in the previous one what we did uh, we we have seen that it was short circuited but here it is not short circuited it is actually it it has a load it is loaded here here it is loaded Okay. Now, as I said earlier, the main thing is almost same. Uh, just see what values are given here. Uh, again, centimeter per second. Velocity. All right. If I write the acceleration, then it would be centimeter per second square. Okay. So. These things are given that not 50 ohms, it will uh, 25 plus J 75 ohm. Hmm, these values are given. Hmm, hmm, okay. So here, these values are given. These values are given here. Okay, fine. These values are given. Put the values of Z not ZL beta L in into this equation. That's uh, to find the sine beta L or the cos beta L. We need to do some. We need to calculate some things like the velocity v. V is equal to c by square root of epsilon r. See here. The value of epsilon r that means the value of reflected uh, the um, the relative permittivity is given, which is uh, one point eight. 
just to put the values and lambda v by f 3.73 centimeter v by l 2 pi by lambda into l 2 pi by 3.73 into 5 so 482.57 these values okay now z i what is the value of z i 6.7 degree rho z i minus z i by z i plus z dot put values v w r s z max and z min Okay, what is uh, yes, Z max value is Z naught into S. Z min value is Z naught by S. Okay, so 50 by 6.84 or 7.3 on ohm. Ah, let uh, me where this one. Okay, you got it. So just uh, it, it is nothing but the putting the uh, values of uh, several uh, entity into the equation into the main equation. That is the primary thing. Okay, now some home tasks are given. So what would you do? Should I show you some technique to solve these problems or I will depend on you. You do, do it at home and you show it to me, to me. What is better option? Let me try first. You try first. Yes, it, yes, is, good. Yes, it is good because you just check uh, earlier uh, for problem. Based on that, based on those, you can try to solve this one. It is four. There are four problems. Okay, so the, uh, there are four problems which you have to try at your home. Okay. Okay. So these four problems are there. Mm, you should check it, uh, check, check this thing at your home and try to solve it. Okay. So that's it. Uh, have I uploaded it or not? Is it uploaded in the classroom? No, sir. Let me check. Class note midterm. No, I uploaded transmission and problems. Check. I just uploaded a few days earlier. Problem is going to be. No problem. You course, Naki. Sir, it's done. Yes, sir. 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 Okay, so you have exam in the next week, I think. Yes, sir. So, do you have any preparation or not? Yeah, we have a preparation, but uh, we need the, the exam area or the, uh, the title list that you will type on exam. Oh, a okay, type of exam. <clears throat> ah, it is uh, since it is midterm. So I'll give you a assignment. Okay, as well as assignment means some questions. Okay, I'll give you some questions. Here I'll do do something different way. 
So what is the date of your exam? Microf. Can you tell me? It's a Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, upcoming Sunday, sir. Okay, sir. Ah, upcoming Sunday. Okay. So the thing is uh, very simple. That I'll give you some questions like maybe fifteen bars questions. Okay. And I'll give you some time. Let's say two hour. Okay, in, in the two hour, you will have to, or the 1.5 hour, you solve the problem. And next 30 to 30 minutes to 45 minutes, I'll take the viva, five marks viva. So, how to uh, the system is when I ask, uh, when I give you the question, that means the 15 marks question, then you Turn or you turn on your video and solve it within one hour or two hour. I'll fix the time. Okay, that is the actually international practice. You understand? Sir, again. That means when I give you the questions, when I give you the fifteen mark questions, then you solve it in front of me. How in front of me? You turn on your video and write. The question, question would be easier, short questions. Mm. Short questions or some maths. So time will sir, be limited. For final, sir. No, no, for me. For me, term. For term will be 50 marks. No, no, 20 marks, 15 marks uh, written, 5 marks, bye bye. Oh, okay, sir. That means assignment, but the assignment or the questions you solve in front of me. Oh, okay. Turning on the video camera so that I can watch what you are doing. Because uh, in the earlier, some people, you, you, you know, you can copy, right? In, in the assignment, you can copy from your other friend. In that, the problem is that the good student, we cannot uh, justice to the good student who, is, uh, who can, who, who deserve the A plus because some Clever student also getting the same value, same points. So how we can distinguish? That is the way we can distinguish it. I'll fix time, that means two hour or the 1.5 hour, that means one hour, 30 minutes. In that time, you solve the problems or you solve the uh, questions in front of me. Then you, after that time, you finish it and take picture and send it to me instantly. You understand? Yes, sir. It is a uh, good practice because if we follow this, that uh, in future, if any something like that happen, like COVID-19, then you will be familiar with this kind of thing because in the other international institutes do this. You have to open your video during the question. Even the schools are doing this, you know? Some schools, I know some uh, little boys or boys, they, they have it. It's a thing. Yes, yes. It's a problem. 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 It's I want to do Basha Diba, Tobe, yet have a camera on Tabu, mobile on Tabe. I will question the Devo, nor question the Ushama Devo. My Ermoda to our Since I am not taking your quiz right now because uh, we have some problems because I, we are in the rush, we have to go to the campus and we have to attend some meetings, some other stuffs, blah, blah, blah. That's why I am not able to take your two classes, I think, in, in some previous two weeks. Okay, that's why I'm not taking your quiz now, but uh, we'll take your quiz, inshallah, after the meet. Okay, just you take the preparations. Slides are given already. Uh, from this slide, I'll uh, give some questions. And from math, I can give you a math. Okay, so in the 15 mark, uh, I can give you, I'll give you maybe like the your ABC, three group. 
like the previous one okay uh, like the previous one uh, that means the 15 mark Mm, or or maybe I can give you four questions. You answer three. Maybe it it would be the uh, procedure. But let's see what happened. Okay, maybe uh, group A, fifteen marks. Okay, group A five, group B five, and group C five. Okay, three group, five marks each. And you will have some alternative in the group A, group B, but you will not have any alternative in the group C. Okay, so 15 mark will be your uh, written exam, and the five marks, or it will be your paper. Or what do you say? Or can I take the 20 marks only? Uh, instead, no viva. If I Sir, by what an answer bus number? Phone number thaku, paper bhi thaku. Okay, it's okay, no problem. So I'll then after that I'll average your mark. Yes, sir. Okay, combining the viva as well as the exam mark. So see, exam will be limited time. Will be on the limited time, not the previous one like two days. You you got the two days to solve your assignment, not like that. Because in that case. It is useless to uh, to see you to check your assignment. Almost all guys are doing same thing, so it is useless. Uh, so we cannot judge the students properly in that case. But if you do this, then you can easily judge the guys. Okay. So I think everything is clear to you.